Well, sometimes when we meet people, it is the worst day of their lives. Shots fired, he's bleeding everywhere. I'm gonna hurt you or kill you. I caught him molesting my 10 year old daughter. Gotcha, buddy. We got to actually find some justice here. You wouldn't even have to pay me to do this job some days. Looks like a harassment by phone. Call, tell him I'm harassing you. Go ahead. I want you to do that. You are facing criminal charges for harassment. The burglary in progress to a residence. I don't want to get too cliche, but you know, we have to trust our lives to each other. The theft in progress. We have quite a caper up here. The kids got autism, so we're looking at an at-risk adult situation. It actually makes it a felony level crime. Our suspect, he stole somebody's phone and then went and filled out a job application. We got a pretty rocking case here. Oh yeah. This is awesome. like a harassment by phone. She's getting multiple calls and text messages from her friend's boyfriend. You never really know until you get there what's going on. You could end up arresting somebody, you could end up uh, advising your victim to get a restraining order. 151 David Worth, code six. I know that he's going crazy. There was like probably five phone calls and there's three voicemails on there too. And then the first text was right after. Call him, tell him I'm harassing you. Go ahead. I want you to do that. Man, I'll f you and your boyfriend up in court. I'm not gonna okay. deal with a psycho. Okay. I'm guessing you want it to stop and for him to cease all contact with yes. you. I'm gonna call him and contact him. This is his official warning. If he sends one more message to you, one more phone call, initiates one more contact with you, he's committing a crime. Let's see if he answers my phone call okay. and we'll, we'll go from there. Okay. I kind of have a little feeling about this guy, he seems like he's got just this explosive personality and this history of like really violent and aggressive behavior. Voicemail. He's probably asleep, he tired himself out. This is Officer Rachel Ida. I'm with the Denver Police Department, District 1. You've left some voicemails and some text messages that are threatening and criminal in nature. You are facing criminal charges for harassment and any communication with her needs to stop. Uh, don't text her, don't call her. Basically, you need to leave her alone. This here is a protection order. Protection order, restraining order, same thing. If that's granted, then he crosses the line, he contacts them any way, shape, form, comes to the house, texts, whatever. Game over, he goes to jail. No questions asked. The hours are from 9 p.m. to 7 a.m. on graveyard shift. So especially during the summertime, it is busy, fast-paced, exciting. There's always lots to do, and more of the bad guys come out at night. So all the interesting calls happen working on the graveyard shift. I'll be in on the report, and can you watch me to that call as well? So this is going to be a theft in progress yeah, call. Kind of concerning. It's a, it sounds like it's a theft of a cell phone, which in and of itself is you know under a thousand dollars, and it's not a huge value. But the victim, it sounds like, has followed the suspect to this location, and the potential that he could possibly confront him. And now we've got some kind of a person's crime. Here's going to be our complainant right here. You called, right? I did. Uh, so my son just called me right now. He was uh, at the uh, Padrino. Somebody asked to borrow his phone. Took his phone, took off running. OK. Uh, my son is autistic, so he's 19, but he's literally smaller than you are. Okay. Like the mentality of about 12 years old. OK. At risk, so, for sure. Um, okay, the guy that yeah. took the phone, he's wearing red shorts with a black top, oversized black top. Where do you think he is right now? He's in this back area over here. There's a, uh, a barber shop. Code 6 on the barber shop. This is my son. Hey, sweetie. Can I ask Hello. you a couple questions really quick? Did yeah. this kid knock you down? No, he did not. OK, so you guys are at 38th and Federal, and yeah, this kid comes up to you, and he wants to use your phone. Yeah. And you gave him your phone to use? Yeah. And then what did he do? He just then, took off? He took off running. And I chased him for about 15 minutes, and then I lost him. You would recognize this guy if you saw him again, right, guys? Yeah. OK. Why don't we do this? You want to grab your boards and come over to the back? I'll load you guys in the back of my car, and we'll go over to Jenny's, OK? The victim is an at-risk adult, so it makes it a felony that we're looking at here. So what we're gonna do now, briefly, is a, something called a show-up. I'm just gonna take him with me and show him somebody. Okay. Okay, we'll, be, right. we'll be right back. They got somebody to come out of the barbershop that they think might be the suspect. We're gonna drive by kind of slow and see if he can identify the suspect. I'm just gonna ask you to look out the window and tell me if you recognize anybody, okay? 